Good morning, T-Wolves. I'm Maddie. And I'm Emma. And this is T-Wolf TV for Wednesday, February 26th. Congratulations to Paxson Richards and Kai Decker, who signed baseball scholarships last Friday in the Little Theater. T-Wolf TV was there and brings us the story. Um, today's a very special day. We've got Kai and Pax here. They're both signing their national letters of intent. Again, we've had a few opportunities throughout the years to have um, student athletes be able to do this here at Timpanogos High School. It is a huge honor and a huge deal, and we're happy to be here to celebrate with these guys. 6% of all high school athletes are able to go to the next level, and that, out of 1,500 students, you guys can do the math. We don't have all 1,500, obviously, playing here, but throughout the state of Utah, big deal. Congratulations to Kai and Pax, and I need your help now with a little drum roll so we can do what we came to see, and that's them sign their national letters of intent at Lane College and UVU. Okay, these are two great young men, proud of them. They've put a lot of work into being able to uh, be recognized to participate at the next level at Lane Community College and Utah Valley University. So great young men and it's just good friends and hopefully they'll always remember that they're a T-Wolf, but uh, they are, they are bound to bigger and better things as well. I'm headed to Utah Valley University to play baseball, and I'll be attending there after my mission, so I'll be there in 2022. I am going to Lane Community College. Uh, I'm going as a pitcher and a shortstop. Um, yeah. Uh, I've just been super blessed to be able to play with both these, uh, these studs, and um, I know they're going to do amazing things, and the work that we've all put in and the work they've put in uh, there's no one else that works that hard, and it's just great to be teammates with them, and hopefully uh, we're here to have a good season, and I'll, I'll miss them when they're uh, off of college. Hey, we just want to congratulate these two guys. Uh, this doesn't happen for one year of any, I mean, this is an ex and a result of a lot of years of experience. How long have you been playing baseball? 12 years. My whole life, basically. My whole life. You know, this is... To me, what this is, this is a result of a lot of hard work, so great job. I start to apply that same work ethic to other things, and you guys are going to be awesome for your whole lives, so good job. Congrats again, Kai and Paxton, and good luck to the baseball team this spring. The girls' basketball team will be holding their spring informational meeting tonight at 6 p.m. in the Media Center. This is for all players and those who want to play and their parents. Come learn about what they have planned for this spring and summer. Even if you haven't played basketball before, you are welcome to attend. Congratulations to our Timpanogos High School League of Legends and Rocket League teams. Both teams won their hard-fought games last week against some out-of-state schools. This week, they both have games against Provo High. Good luck, guys. If you'd like to learn more about our new eSports teams here at THS, then please see Mr. Bell in 613 or Miss Della Chapa in room 306. We're still looking for more players for these and other games. We have rain today and tomorrow. If you park in the driving range during the day, please make sure you move your vehicle from the range by 2.30 p.m. to avoid receiving a boot. The cost to remove the boot is $50. Attention athletes, it is not too late to join track. We have practices after school 2.45 Monday through Friday. Come talk to Coach Benson for more details. Come get into great shape, get a nice suntan, meet great people, and help us win a region and state championship. Up next, information on the Lose Your Hair Challenge. Please pay attention. Hi, Mr. Bertrand. Hi, Mr. Fisher. Hey, T-Wolves, we wanted to give you an update on the uh, Lose Some Hair Challenge. Uh, unfortunately, our boys did not advance in the state playoffs after last Friday's game, but if you do see any of the players, Coach Ingle, Coach Hartsock, or any of the coaches, please let them know that they did an awesome job this season and we're very proud of them. Uh, and to the student T-Wolves Den on Friday, that was the most energy and excitement we've seen all season and proved why you are the best fans in the state. So we're still asking you to help raise money for the Lupus Research Alliance. Uh, unfortunately, Coach Schultz couldn't be here, but... So lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that affects 1.5 million Americans. Uh, there is no known cure and no known cause for it. Unfortunately, it disproportionately affects women more than men, with 90% of all patients being women. This disease affects family and friends of ours, and we want to help raise awareness uh, and help give a great cause to further research into a cure. So the challenge is to you, T-Wolves. If the school raises $1,000 by March 13th, we will shave our heads and our faces. 
I haven't had a haircut since the summer, and Schultz hasn't seen his face since he was 18. So if you could donate a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, anything, that'd be great. Thank you again, T-Wolves. I'm looking forward to seeing these old men look like one of you all over again. Uh, all donations can be made to Freddie at the finance office or at myschoolfees.com if you have an account set up. Again, thank you, and it's a great day to lose some hair. Good luck to the band and orchestra at the Region Instrumental Solo and Ensemble at Tim Few and to the track team at their Blue and White Meet. For T-Wolf TV, I'm Maddie. And I'm Emma. And remember, T-Wolves, we, we love, love you all. Waking up with the same I did yesterday.